Dark bleatings, everybody. Oh, dark bleatings. Right, let's go. <sighs> right. Uh, let's have a look at the map. I'm on a boat and it's <laughs> going fast. And I got a nautical theme, Pashmina F. <laughs> 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 Sorry, <laughs> I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Quite frankly, Ooh. surprised that that didn't occur to me the first time we got in the boat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. Oh, like, have I been there? Mm. I can't have been. I don't Let's know. Let's go to a lakeside settlement. <laughs> okay, let's have fun. I don't know. Nice thing is, also, I like you can see the castle. This it's boat very... is real. <laughs> Fuck, man, oh, I'm on a shit. boat! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not everyone. Not I love every the way that video starts. It's just so it's, right. It's unnecessary. In your face. It's yeah, unnecessary. unnecessary. Yeah, that's what. Um, so funny. That's what I find funny about. I'm not like a massive Lonely Island fan, but the opening of that song and. It, it like, just catches you the, off guard. The. Oh, like, yeah, no, I have not been here because look, there's a bastard. Oh, yeah. The intensity of the auto tune all the way through that song, I feel, yeah. was like a joke as well. Um, th the it makes me laugh. It's the same thing that makes me laugh with um, Electric Callboy, where like they have these. If you've not listened to them and you like metal, just have a little listen to like Hyper Hyper or something. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, they have these like sort of like dancey rock songs, um, and then towards the end usually they go so aggressively heavy for like the last like 30 seconds or something Are you okay you have a face of fear oh sorry i'm i'm listening out and looking for bear traps i'm i'm sneaking <laughs> doing, doing some sneaking i'm doing some sneaking i'm looking for bear traps sneaky sneaky um please turn your torch on thank you <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I'm okay just in the dark here, everyone. Oh, not a tunnel. I love a tunnel. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, sorry. Yeah, no, um, yeah, that, no, uh, yeah, Hyper Hyper is the only one I've listened to. There are a few where, like, all of it, it's, it's, um, they get, like, super, super heavy with the actual, like, music, and then for the vocals, they normally throw in, like, a pig squeal <laughs> towards the end what? as well, like, it. I can't do it, but <laughs> exactly like you get like your metal screaming, and then there's like a pig squeal, and it oh it cracks me up every time. I showed our little niece <laughs> Connie hyper hyper. Yeah, <laughs> she was loving life, and then I let it roll on to the next song, and I forgot there's like a very prominent f word. Like oh, no. thirty seconds in, I just completely forgot about Did it. Did you hear it? Yeah, and she laughed and laughed. Oh no! I tried. I scrambled for the remote when I remembered it was coming all yeah. of a sudden, but I was too late. <laughs> I tell you what, that's one of my biggest fears in the job that I have is swearing in front of a classroom full of kids. It's literally like the, one of the worst things you can do if you're a teacher or you like. Yeah, I, like you, you never come close. But because it just slips out when I'm like. <laughs> In normal conversation, <laughs> you've got to you've got to be in the right headspace, haven't you? I guess you, you felt the same thing when we worked in the park. <laughs> yeah, we were at the holiday park. What the hell? The fi huh? Interesting. Can be the sold at a high price. Blue here from somewhere. <laughs> um, Why is my knife always broken? <laughs> well, he said something about I don't know something. So. Oh, yeah, God. the fear that you're going to swear when you've got the microphone when you work at a holiday park is real. Like, especially if... Because we all have that fear, because it's one thing to, like, accidentally swear in front of a kid or do during an event, right? But it's another thing when you've got a full park and there are 2,000 people in the venue. Mm -hmm. And if the thought as you're walking on stage is, don't swear, that's all that's in your head when you for the whole time... And um, I never did, but do you remember? I don't want to say her name. Let's call her. Um, <laughs> let's call her Marty. Right. No, wait. No, that's too close to the name of a real person. Let's say. When that let's is call giving her, that away. Let's call her Spyro. Spyro. We'll call her Spyro because she was little and cute. And um, 
she used to just misspeak all the time and she wouldn't even know what like she'd come off stage and get backstage and we'd all be sat there mouths agape at what she'd said she's like what (laughs) and i remember very distinctly remember she introduced a band called pulp function and i like that band name yeah but you know like when you're the one who has to introduce them and you're worried about messing it up swearing like that that's the kind of wording that will get you and she very loudly announced welcome to welcome pulp function to the stage <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody put your hands together for pulp function <laughs> she had no she had no idea that she'd said it oh my god until we told her and the the highlight one that she that she did for me that is forever seared in my memory was and this was just sort of like out of the mouth of babes kind of thing like she really didn't know what she was saying like she said the words on purpose but she didn't know what it meant mm-hmm. so that we had this whole thing where um we had this a mascot that i don't want to say the name of. i'm pretty sure this is open to all holiday parks but just in case it's specific to this one yeah uh, it was a mascot and the little like party time that we'd devised around him was that he was a dj yeah. And there was a rival I DJ. The one now. Yeah, there was a rival DJ that we called DJ Frostbite that was like played by one of us on any given night. And we like dressed him up in like a big like furry coat or whatever and a hat and stuff and with a cane. And um but this was like her this was Spyro's outfit choice the day she did this. So that's what she went out with. Big sunglasses, big hat, big furry coat and a cane, right? And she went out and said and I quote, Yo yo yo, take a ride on my pimp stick <laughs> <laughs> She was like, "Yeah, what? Yeah, that's what all the cool kids say." And so we had to, we had to then explain to her what a pimp is because yeah. she didn't know. And then we had to tell her that what she'd essentially said was, "Ride my dick." Like, <laughs> and, and <laughs> she was so shocked and upset about it for a minute. <laughs> View the guest oh, on, no. on Trip Advisor, <laughs> where they quoted him, complained about the exceptionally rude children's entertainment, <laughs> which was fair. Yeah. <laughs> if I was a parent, I would be pr- like, I think I'd be pretty mad. Yeah. Like, cause you. It's so unfortunate it's, when you know. Yeah, it can happen when you know the person who did it. Yeah, like, and you know it we, was an accident. Because we know her. We knew as it left her mouth that she had no idea she, yeah, what, what yeah, the euphemism. Like, she didn't even know it was euphemism. She must have just heard it on something. Yeah, I just repeated it and didn't think about it. Oh. And I wonder, like, how many how many things have I said that I've just repeated and I didn't really get. Yeah, oh, God, I, I can't I, see a thing. It, right. it could happen to anyone, but it's just unfortunate if you've got a microphone in your hand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's afternoon. the time you shouldn't really experiment. <laughs> yo, oh, yo, pardon me, bit. Yo, 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 take a ride on my pimpster. <laughs> <laughs> she said it with so much confidence as well. That's, the <laughs> that's best what thing. really got me about it. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I just realised where I am. Oh, yeah. We have been here before, have we? Or you recognise it from the... We, this is where we met Luis. This is from the chapter one. Oh, right. Okay, so we've circled back. we circled back. Okay. Okay, I kind of like this. This uh, in this level design is sort of kind of looping around. Yeah, we dropped down here and he was in the, the bag, wasn't he? Oh, yes, yeah. Down Ro- there. Rolling around like a sausage. Uh, oh, there's a treasure down here now. Mm-hmm. A treasure? Treasure! Doop, 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 doop. He's, he's very fond of Don. How do you say that? How do you say that? Uh, Don. Oh, wait, wait. I know this word. Quixote. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Who is that? I don't know, and I'm not 100% sure I was right. <laughs> Just 
just thought that if I, if I pull the Spyro and set him with confidence. I think that that's right, though, for some reason. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what What was the... I didn't read the rest, just the name. What was uh, the context? My beloved daughter passed away shortly no, no, after no, the giving birth that, to the... a son. No, okay. I was going to read the whole four pages. Oh, he's asked me to tell stories. Don Quixote, yeah. Yeah, I am right. Yeah. Cool. I haven't read it. Well... Bloody but funnily enough, loser. I know where it's about because the character that we follow in the film, the platform. Oh, oh! See, look, it's all circular. It's all circular. It yeah. all comes back. Yeah. I like circles. <laughs> Why did I? <laughs> I like trains. <laughs> I like turtles. <laughs> I like turtles. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. It's not even really <laughs> true. I don't have like a, a special fondness of a circle. Well, I I can now. Oh shit! In fact. Oh wait, what, what, what the hell? Oh, no, actually, I dislike circles because it's sort of like a, it's like an eternity sort of symbol, and I don't care for eternity. <laughs> <laughs> I like things to end. You say that. You say that as if you have experience with eternity. Yeah, it's really boring. Like you, <laughs> you run out of things to do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I ate the fish. Oh no! <laughs> you did eat it. <laughs> what? I'll see if so, I can catch another so one. So that you could pick up the gun. Yeah. I'll see if I can catch another one. Hello. Oh, oh no, sir. Ma'am. Hello. Is it a sir or ma'am? I can't tell. Um. Oh. Is it dead? <laughs> is it baby eagle? That's not baby eagle. Spoiler. He'd be freaking out if it was. Yeah, baby eagle. Oh, so she's eagle. in that church that we just spent ages trying to get a medallion for to oh, get yeah. in. I wonder if we can meet Baby Eagle today. Gunpowder. Do you know where I would really Probably like? Probably not. Pizza. <laughs> Pizza. When the moon hits your oh, eye, like is this a it? <gasps> sacrificial slab. Is this where it was? No, it wasn't. Although that's demony looking. That picture. Yeah. It's got like little. It look the implication of horns, implied horns. There, you know. It's actually so now. Now that you've seen them, um, it's actually a depiction of. I mean, it's harder to see on that version of it. But if we mm. look at the key, and um, we see that's the symbol, ah. it's actually the thing that comes out of their necks. Oh, cool! So they're worshiping whatever that is. A small key. I love small keys. Mm. There's a there's a chest that I can open just downstairs. <laughs> I can't wait to see what's in it. Sorry, I was getting. So I, I actually can't wait to see what's in this 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 chest. It might be a gun. There's um. Can I throw out a a movie recommendation? No. That this I'm going to. Oh. Oh <laughs> no. Do you this know is what? instant karma. They've... And they've got them too. Oh no. Do you know what that sort of reminded me of? Those um like shadow dog things from Devil May Cry. Yeah. It moves and like it too. Actually, um, since Devil May Cry started as Resident Evil 4, that's probably not too far from the. Oh did they? Did they? Oh, oh no! Did they look like this in the original? Like with their bit. mouths like this, or? I. Oh my God! You are getting mauled. Okay, I have an idea. Shotgun? Oh, grenade? <laughs> yes. Oh. Nice. Oh, oh no. no, no! Come on. Oh. 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 Those are hellhounds if I ever did see a hellhound. <laughs> Mike's stressed. <laughs> He's never going to stop breathing out. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no! The egg! <laughs> oh, I can't parry those. We've learned a lesson. There's another one next to me. Oh my god. 
Those are way worse than they used to be. You used to be able to just run past them. And now you have no such... Ooh. No such luxury. Oh, let me throw out this movie recommendation. Yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, continue. Um, I've, been, I've been reminded of it because um, this is one of those films that you're... Like, as you're watching it, you're kind of, like, very much in the mind frame of the main character that we're following in that he doesn't know... He's very suspicious that this uh, group they wear the occult, but like he's got some stuff going on. So you don't like you don't really know. Mm -hmm. um, and I won't say either way, but this uh, has reminded me of it because it has culty vibes. Um, but it's a film called the um, The Invitation. There's a newer film called The Invitation. It's not that one. It's the one that, from 2015. Um, but I highly recommend. Mm -hmm. Really, really good watching that film. Like, it's not for people who um, like really super loud horror, um, but people who like a um, bit of a, I don't know, sort of a character study sort of film, maybe. Um, yeah. But yeah, real, um, yeah, very intriguing, because I, I, I was watching this and I just didn't know either. Mm -hmm. It's like you're kind of like you have as much information as he does, so you don't know. Like yeah. it's um, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it was great. It was great. Yeah. I like I I like when films and games do this too. Um, when they follow through with only showing you what the character would would know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they don't cut away to give you more information than the character has. I think there's a lot of value in doing that. Yeah, I um, we recently reviewed a book on the website, um, and one of the what the the goat that reviewed it, they said that what their main problem with it was is that like as a reader you'd receive certain information that the protagonist didn't have and then you just have to read through the protagonist discovering the thing that you already know mm. and it does work a lot of times in like a Chekhov's gun kind of way but just it just didn't work in this book very well because it wasn't like you may as well have just found out along with the character there was no value to it being fed to you first yeah the best example i've seen in a film of um when we see more than the characters know is Tremors. Yeah. I know we've talked about Tremors before, but like, it's cause, it's cause we know before they do that there's something under the ground. Yeah. So every time they're walking around in the desert, you're like, Oh, they don't know. They don't know. Yeah. I guess that, yeah, that, Oh, 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 Oh. Can you wear your elegant mask? <laughs> no. Aww. Oh, um, Oh, Oh, Right. Yes. Hmm. How much extra space do I actually have? <laughs> so, uh, oh, I don't have a lot of extra space. Does the TMP use submachine gun? Right, okay, hang on. Let's think about this. I want to use as many of these as I can. If I get the TMP... Yes. Coyote, submachine gun, that's... It must be, it must be. Let me just double check it. Welcome. TMP. All my wares are in tip-top shape. I mean, I guess it's common sense that this uses... SMG rounds, but okay, I'll just make them anyway. I <laughs> Pondering the mysteries of Resident Evil life with your supplies and your yep. <laughs> your space. And... Yep. So I'm making some room. Okay, I'm just going to use the auto sort. Ah, uh, I don't know whether or not it, it. Can I store things with him? Can I store things at a save point? I don't know. How does it work in this game? I don't know. I I had a feeling there was like a storage system. Storage. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I don't. Yeah, because I don't want to. Okay. Oh, I can't store. I can only store weapons. That makes sense. I like that. Okay. 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 <laughs> I didn't want to sell the red nine and, and piss anyone off. <laughs> well, this is your game. How do whatever no, you want. No, but you know, trust me, people would get pissed off. <laughs> All right. So what I really like is if I can get the stock for the TMP. Go 
got a selection of good things on yes. uh, this thing is like super accurate this will be put right. so I can use that um, I can buy a first aid spray for that everyone. cash in your pocket I swear that I had a train of thought leading to this next thing I'm about to say that sounds like it has no context. Uh -huh. Do you know what else there isn't enough of in fiction? What? <laughs> Mermaids. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I like, I like to see a good scary mermaid. <laughs> no? I feel like that's a good monster. Sirens? Uh, yeah, well, uh, do you know, I, uh, Wait, I wrote Surely it. I can't sell that. Won't do you much good in the grave. Um, I assume you can sell it once it's... Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna keep it just for a sec. Yeah. Even though I know... Oh, I have a lot of stuff. Um... Oh, look at all this I can sell. I wrote oh. a, uh... Look how much stuff. I wrote... A mermaid story once. Yeah. Yes. And it went into um, a, a great British horror anthology. Mm -hmm. Um It was like sort of a mighty. <laughs> right. It's about a man called Eric mm -hmm. who dr is drowning. He's in the sea. There's stuff in the sea. And he just keeps drowning. And then he wakes up and he's alive. And he has to drown again and just forever. Mm -hmm. And it was my take on the Lord Mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> it was like mermaid magic. I kind of fused Ursula and Ariel together, mm -hmm. and Eric is the name of the prince and the little mermaid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it, I, it was like sort of a, it was a sort of subtle take on it. I don't know. I don't even not confident that anyone would have actually like got that. I don't. I haven't read that story back for a long time, so I don't know if it was obvious or if. Oh, if it was an idea I had in my head that I didn't actually feed well enough into the story <laughs> to make it clear that's what I was doing. Uh, but I really had uh, fun with that. Yeah. The horribly just murdering some guy over and over. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, you you just don't see a lot of uh, mermaid horror. <laughs> no, you don't. Anyone you don't. Know you really any, don't. Does anyone know of any mermaid horror, please? <laughs> Books or films? <laughs> <laughs> Anything. I, um, I like uh, I like sea horror because not necessarily boat horror though. No. I'm a bit weird with it. Like, um, well, what a coincidence! Because I'm about to do some boat horror right now. <laughs> like the f films that people like, like what what was that? Is it Triangle the one that has that opening scene everyone bangs on about? Is that oh ghost ship? Ghost ship. Ghost ship. Yeah, I didn't like. I think the Triangle is about the Bermuda Triangle. But yeah, probably. I, for whatever reason, whenever I watch a horror film that's set on a boat, I'm not that fussed on it. Mm -hmm. But if I read a horror film about someone that's in the ocean, that does it for me. It's scary. Yeah. Just uh, being in the ocean. The is idea scary. of and again, it's, it's stuff that when it's things that people have experienced. I'm going back out for a fish. If you're wondering. <laughs> Uh, we can we can end the episode after I get a fish. Yeah, come on, catch your fish. <laughs> I don't know where I can find a fish. I actually have. I a... might have to throw a harpoon at a fish. Okay. What if there was only that one giant one? I saw another one next to it when I was there. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, so did you actually have to find it with like torchlight? Is that what's happening? We well, you should be able to see it. They were quite big. Okay. Uh, it was near the dock. May I? Uh, it's just reminded me we're <laughs> talking about sea horror. There we go. May I throw out a book recommendation while we're here? Yeah. It, there's a book by a writer called Nathan Robinson called Midway, um, and it's about. I think he's an Olympic swimmer. I'm sorry if I'm uh, again. It's a bit wrong. It's been a long time since I read it, but um, this guy's like a. He does that swimming where you do it in the ocean and like a boat follows you. So I guess like an Olympic swimmer. Yeah. And then at some point something goes awry. Oh. And it's good, really good. Scary. Mm -hmm. Cool. Pretty scary. Oh. But yeah, if anyone's got any uh, mermaids or like good sort of water horror for me, that would be great. I'm not that into like Lovecraftian stuff right now, so I would prefer to not have... Although I did like The Deep by Nick Cutter. Mm-hmm. Um, oh. Oh. What's wrong? I'm not sure any of these are the big one. 
Mm, they don't. They don't look like mega fish. No, I. That could have been the only. Big oh, one. I've got a bad feeling because it says the big fish, doesn't it, on the direction? I think. <laughs> I think you're just fishing regular fish, you know. Oh, I'm, oh. and that's going to be one of those things now that. Oh. Uh, when people were watching it and they saw me throw it away, <laughs> they're gonna have comments on that. Nah. They're These all fish dead all anyway. look dead, yeah. Yeah. What's <laughs> I was, it was holding out for a hope that I could just stab a dead fish and collect it anyway. What, what's the fish called? It's just black, black bass L. Well, like, no, like, I mean, like the giant fish. Black bass L. Right, just for L, for large. Oh, right, okay. Are you gonna, yeah, you're gonna search I'm it up for me? I'm just having a look to see if there's if another there's only one. one. But I might not tell you. Well, that would be mean. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see you <laughs> while you're fishing. Well, I have returned, so. <laughs> they respawn. How? Wait. Oh, no, no. Yeah, there are more. There are more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, should I go get it? Well, if you want to. Yeah, all right. <laughs> this is going to be... Uh... I tell you what, let's keep going. Let's keep going. <laughs> yeah. And we'll just edit this out. <laughs> okay. Right. Just keep recording, fuck it. <laughs> so there are more, yeah? <laughs> yeah, it says there are 12. 12 big ones? Yeah. Like that? Yeah, it looks pretty big. That's pretty big. That's gotta be a, a Billy Big Bass. Do you know what? If that's the big one. Oh, the Lunker. Is that it? I don't know. <laughs> let's just sell that. Uh, do you know what? Let's, mm, that's let's, pretty big. I mean, I got, I got it. So let's, let's see if that's um. Let's the, the maybe we didn't cut at all. <laughs> maybe we didn't I'm cut at laugh. all. You try and sell this fish, and it's not the right. Not one. the right one. Well, then maybe we'll cut. <laughs> <laughs> Mustang Sally. Got a selection of good things on sale. Stranger. Wow, he's worth a lot, mind. Oh, yeah. Oh, perfect. You're a real <laughs> yeah, he's well, worth catching. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, there you go. Oh, good. Cool. We, we <laughs> well, all that good. didn't take long. <laughs> we all, oh, wow, even after buying the stock then, I've still got lots of... Like herbs, oh, should I get a Kill yellow... <laughs> <Kill a man. laughs> the reason he just said herb like this... <laughs> because I don't know when this started, but it was some years back where there was some debate in our family about how, oh, it was a joke on how you're supposed to pronounce herb, because a lot of people go herb, herb, <laughs> herb. And I just start going. <laughs> Somehow, it, yeah, it, it 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 was over a period of time, but that's his pronunciation of it has descended into that hiss. <laughs> 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 well, Go and this. get your spices and your herbs. <laughs> your herbs. <laughs> your herbs. Oh, do you know what? And I'll get this too because I can sell that for a lot. Do you say herb or herb? Let us know. Uh, let us know on the next exciting episode <laughs> of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs>